it's and not funny. Have you encountered some shit like that? I have not, dog. Okay, yeah, me neither, dog. I have not. But because of the era that we came from, you wouldn't mind. It would be something that I would have celebrated. Yeah. You know, sure. niggas talking about, like, your teacher did what? Yeah. I had a couple teachers I wish to grab my dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, man! Again, we 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 do not uh, we don't condone, <laughs> we don't that, condone shit. that shit. But yeah, that age. But all I know yeah. is that when, but see, I was down there <laughs> when I was at King, though, dog. Miss motherfucking Garland, dog. Miss Garland had to be like 23, 24. Oh, yeah. I was sixteen. <laughs> I wish Miss Garland had to grab my dick, bro. <laughs> I bet you would have told nobody. Either, I would have told nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! The champ is here! What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, man. Uh, no guests today, so I ain't about to say uh, no, no weak shit about... Nigga, we got special guests in the building when them niggas ain't special and shit, dog. <laughs> Damn. Like, some niggas do be special, though, bro. Oh, okay. Some niggas do. Some niggas do. But no, today we supposed to have guests. It was uh, a little bit a little bit of my fault. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, I forgot to give dog the motherfucking address to the uh, to the place and shit. <laughs> so I'm just in this bitch just waiting, and then he like, dog, what's the address? I'm looking like, damn. <laughs> I ain't fucked up, dog. Uh, miscommunication. Yeah, players fuck up. I was drinking motherfucking uh, Hornitos last night, dog. Blame it on Hornitos. Yeah, That's motherfucking Little Caesars I ain't had that shit. shit in a while, Loki. Okay. Yeah, that shit, dog. The, um, what's the, the, the Reposado? Yeah. What, that motherfucker smooth, dog. Yeah, that's that the shit one good I drink. No, but real talk, I want to talk. sweeter. I want to start off the uh, episode just saying uh, rest in peace to my uh, to my dog, Tyrell. Tyrell Thompson, whatever, dog. Like, we was growing up. Mm-hmm. He was kind of like a, uh, basically fam, basically cousins and shit like that. He was uh, a... Yeah. Birthday was a few days before mine, uh, June eighteenth, or whatever. I met him through my um, my mom boyfriend's son. I call him my stepbrother. Shout out to Chu, and uh, right, shout out to my nigga Chu. Yeah, I'm like, damn, nigga, we the same age and shit. Like, yeah. you know, what I'm saying my cousins, you know, my blood cousins, we kind of like, you know, fell off a little bit. Yeah. So it was cool to have somebody your age to kick it with. So What's nigga, up? I used to spend out of their crib all the time on Belfer. Shout out to uh, to Cheese and all them niggas, dog. My nigga uh, Earl and shit, dog. <laughs> Earl. But yeah, my man was. Hey, but real quick though. Yeah. What happened to niggas spending the night though? Dog, niggas, niggas don't spend night nobody's house. Dog, never. Nigga, my dog. son ain't spent night <laughs> years over somebody's crib, nigga. That used to be the shit though, right? It's cause they can pick up the phone and just yeah, Facetime so. niggas and yeah, right. talk to niggas. But dog, I used to spend over there. Uh, but no, his last post, man. That's why I always say like, it's always fucked up making a post. And that'd be your last shit, dog. Like, I don't yeah. know if he knew that was going to be the last post he made, but he was like, I'm down bad right now. And I seen everybody, like, you know, comment on his shit, dog. Tell him it's going to be cool. Keep your head up. This, then the third. Yeah. Then a couple hours later, I see rest in peace. I'm like, damn. Damn, that's fucked up. But he was going through it, man. From what I heard, he was going through it with, you know, Life. personal situations. Yeah. And then shit was just fucked up, man. I don't... I ain't gonna say exactly how he passed away because I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah. you know he passed away, and that's the fucked up part about it. Nah, for sure. And like you said about the uh, the Facebook, <laughs> I mean it ain't funny uh, though, but you making them Facebook posts and shit, not knowing it's gonna be your last. In his case, I'm not sure if he knew exactly it was gonna be his last. But dog, I I just want to take this opportunity to say like for real in real life, if you if you having an issue, dog, talk to somebody. Like somebody will listen. I know even when it's when it seemed like. Don't nobody care, and you, you, it's you against the world, and nobody. It's got to be somebody, dog. Like for real, just dog. yeah. Even but then what? I even say that. I even say that shit when we be on on air. Like I don't even know. I don't know people. Call in though. Like yeah. maybe you just want to talk to some niggas yeah. you don't know. Like dog. something. Because low key, it might you might not have nobody to talk to. Yeah. And some and is some, that is that possible? Yeah, I think it is. To not have nobody. I think it is, dog. You know what I'm saying? I I mean, obviously it is because people yeah. go through, you know, go through life like that. But Yeah, sometimes you, niggas might not have nobody to talk to or niggas ain't trying to listen to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. might you might be a nigga that ain't tired of hearing about your problems. <laughs> well, yeah, you know you you, you, know, you you got niggas that call you, you be like, oh. Yeah. Well, only because, like, because that... <laughs> You know, I don't be knowing niggas' circumstance, but What's up, Lance? only because uh, you don't you don't want that to be the conversation every time. Like it yeah. is niggas like that though. Yeah. Like every time you talk to him, like God damn, 
can't ever just call and say what up though like everything good mm-hmm. like something always bad like bro no, all the time for real like all the time like ain't you ain't had a good day in years like no, come on no. dog it's got to yeah, lighten up a little bit. Yeah, that should be fucked up, bro. But it yeah. be it, it's real out here, dog. That it shit is. real. It and is. nigga, it's sometimes I be going through shit and don't even tell people like yeah. just because I don't even want to nigga come off like oh here's nigga go crying and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It be times we do the podcast. I ain't told you, nigga. I'm yeah. on my way here. Like what the fuck, dog? Right. But then <laughs> you gotta kind of put on your game face, dog. Yeah, and, no, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be strong too because in my situation, I got I got three kids, mm-hmm. and I remember I never forget, dog. One day, my uh, my my oldest son, uh, Shaw Junior, or whatever, he mm-hmm. was like, um, he said some shit, and I, it stuck with me to this day. He was like, "Dog, like you don't even smile no more. Yeah. Like it was that bad that I wasn't cracking no jokes. <laughs> I wasn't happy. Damn, for real. I, mean, I was just beat down, dog. Life was <laughs> fucking me up, dog. Like, I mean, I don't even mean to be over here laughing at your shit, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, damn word, dog. For real. No, for real. He's yeah. Like, nigga, he said that shit at the time. He probably like t- eleven. Yeah, he like, he I'll put that shit in the when I was trying to rap though. I'll put that shit in the song. <laughs> Cause he like, uh you don't smile no more. Everything, you know what I'm saying, ain't the same or whatever. Like, nigga, yeah. you just kinda look like you just man <laughs> going through the just here yeah. and shit. And I'm like, damn. So now like I try to mask it a little bit, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my younger kids, because they want to play all the time. Yeah. And sometimes you be like, dog, get the fuck home. But <laughs> but you can't. Yeah, dog. Yeah. So, so that should be real sometimes, bro. Yeah, for sure. So I, I don't know. Like you said, it, it might be some, some things in situations where they don't have nobody to talk to. But I I just say try. Find somebody, dog. Like, because, yeah. Don't try to yeah. don't try to carry that shit on your own. Man. Because it's, it's tough. Like, Man. I know... I know you come in this motherfucker by yourself. You leave yeah. out by yourself. But at the end of the day, like, get some help, man. No, for real. <laughs> like, get for some real. help. Never thought though to see that shit, dog. At, yeah, at five sure. in the morning, like, I'm like, dog, what? Yeah. And like, then you yeah. start, you know, for for close friends, it's like you start questioning yourself, like, how yeah. come I didn't know, you know? No, for sure. Could I have done something more, you know, that but, type of shit. But then some situations, it don't matter what you do, dog. Oh yeah, for ain't, sure. Ain't, ain't, ain't no helping some people, dog. Facts. Because even Facts. true, he was like, man, maybe he should. He like, I don't like the jail system, and it's full of shit. But he was like, he told his auntie, like, nigga, maybe he should go to jail for 90 days. Like, you should mm-hmm. call police on him. Because, yeah. like, it was, it was getting to that point he that he was drinking a lot. Yeah. I'm talking about, he said he was drinking early, like, 12 mm-hmm. o'clock on a Saturday, nigga, like, yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. So he like, nigga, maybe you should just send him to prison, nigga, so he can get clean. Yeah. Or jail, or whatever. Yeah. Dog, that shit, that shit wild. Though. Rest in peace to dog, though. No, nah, rest in peace my dog, real, dog. That nigga was a funny nigga, dog. I remember one, <laughs> I remember one time, nigga, we was over there at Eastland Village, dog. Mm hmm. And I don't know why this story stuck in my head, but we was right, we used to ride crazy. ride bikes all around all the time. Uh-huh. I remember one time, nigga, he spent the night with my crib, him and his uh, brother and shit, and we was over for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So nigga, you know how niggas be when you like, uh, you know, 13, 14 and shit. Niggas don't niggas just spend the night, don't wash up, don't take showers. <laughs> niggas be musty as hell. Though. Dog, I'm riding this nigga bike like nigga. I'm like get on my fucking bike, dog. Cause nigga, <laughs> this nigga was thinking that bad that had me about to throw up, dog. Like, nigga on the bike. <laughs> Niggas I'm like, no, get the fuck on my bike, bro. You when got you stank outside. <laughs> this, you, you fucked up. Hell yeah, but niggas dog. was like that though, right? Yeah, taking a couple days in between, like, no, go wash your ass, nigga. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. That nigga had hype ass block too, dog. Like, yeah. it was some, it was some girls over there, nigga. Like for real, I just like yeah. going over there, dog. And he be uh, and I don't want to, you know, obviously I don't want to dwell too hard on this shit. But then it's like you, you had those childhood memories. You had uh, some of those, those great memories and shit where you had some fun and shit. And then. Like every now and then, you, every now and then you kind of just wonder, like, what happened? Like, yeah. what what sent the what sent a nigga into a tailspin? You no, know? but then again, what my mom says is, is kind of true. What's up? Like, nigga, where you grow up, kind of like it almost write your life is, is written. It can, yeah, if you allow it. <laughs> and like you could tell between him and his brother, he was the wild nigga, the yeah. wild child. His brother was like the, the quiet nigga, laid back, like yeah. focused on shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like a lot of times you see like those behaviors kind of like pan out to how they life going to be when they get older. Yeah, sometimes. A lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> Oftentimes. Yeah, yeah right, duh, that right, should yeah. be, duh, that should be fucked up. Every duh. now and then you can break the mold though. Yeah. So. But have you ever had a situation, I know you talk about that shit in Denver, like when you just feeling like fucked up, like, um, like life yeah, is well, fucked shit, up. <laughs> Both of them times in Denver and in, uh, in New York when I was out in Harlem for that internship, but mostly yeah in Denver because like niggas I was an adult. Yeah. Well, I mean I was an adult in New York too, but I was still in school, so I kind of felt like a kid still. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I but even then, like I found, 
I don't know. I found solace in being by myself, though. This is yeah. probably weird, right? Yeah. So what I would do, because like you know, shit, shit used to get tight. Like you know, what I'm saying bills was due. I'm the. I, it's on me. Like everything on me. You know what I'm saying? So. And then after, especially after uh, my OG passed and shit, I went back out there and, you know, I'm out in Colorado by myself, a thousand miles from anybody that, you know, that I call family or friends, yeah, for yeah. real. You know, I had made some new friends or whatever, but, dog, what I would do, dog, is literally would, I would go to the park and, uh, you know, this, this is not a good thing, but I used yeah. to drink a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I used to uh, get... Uh, uh, what 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 is that shit? The uh, the big goat cups yeah, and shit. Yeah, put, yeah. Fill that bitch with ice, and put uh. I used to drink Jack Honey and shit, right? Okay. Honey Jack. That shit good. Yeah, shit cool. Like it's just a nice little smooth drink. Yeah, nigga, yeah. pour that bitch over the ice, nigga. I used to just sit at the park and people watch, dog, and listen to the and listen to music and just like vibe out. Yeah. And like sometimes, a lot of people and it, this is some funny shit to say, but it's some real shit too. Some people not comfortable being alone with themselves, nigga. Nigga, hell no. A lot of people not. And hell I no. think if you can't master that, you go always be behind the eight ball if you ask me. Like, so I I was able to kind of, like, basically get my mind right. That was like a yeah. form of meditation for me. Hell yeah. And I think meditation and shit like that is something that, that you know, as black folks, yeah. meditation and, and, and therapy is some yeah. shit we need to really nah, start taking seriously. For sure, for sure. Yeah, for and sure. I think my piece, I find my piece will not be uh, coaching. Yeah. Because it's like, nigga, I'm not thinking about shit else, but this moment what we doing how can yeah. we get better you can you can lose yourself in yeah. yeah and the kids just make you like you just having a good time because they don't at the end of the day they ain't got no problems for real yeah not some, real. Well, some, some of them do yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, some yeah of them. we just said that shit once. Just, <laughs> <laughs> some of them motherfuckers got real problems man but then it be it's like it's my job now to be a person that can maybe you know what I'm saying change up change them up a little bit for yeah. the better and shit you can, you can be their piece like yeah. this can them coming to practice yeah. could be their escape from whatever the, you know life they live in. So, now, yeah. uh, we talking about kids, and I hate to bring this up, dog. <laughs> but <laughs> did you see the up. shit with the um? What, what what's the deal? What's the deal, cuz? Did you see a shit with the, with the rapper bro who was um uh, accused of messing around with eleven year old? Oh, girl? nigga, you talking about dog from here? Yeah. <laughs> do, do we say his name or no? I mean, shit was yeah, public. T, yeah, t, nigga, they what, T-Dot. T-Dot. Yeah. So he's, he's a big rock bomb, but I heard they say, nigga, we ain't fuck with that nigga fuck forever. With is, yeah. So this is the thing, though, about that. I don't know all the details behind that shit, but this is what was alarming to me. The mm-hmm. comments, though, right? The comments showed that everybody on fucking earth knew that this was he was that type of nigga. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the comments like, oh, shit, nigga, I knew this. I knew that, like... So how y'all just letting this nigga just be out here chilling? Yeah, you ain't saying shit, we ain't whoop his ass. So nothing. that's why I'm saying like, cause at first I was like, you know, niggas be getting, you know, the raw deal. Maybe some bullshit. Like yeah. I don't know. I heard some of the. Did you see? Hear yeah, some of the, dog, that shit was nasty work, bro. Dog. What? That shit nasty work, dog. <laughs> I don't be understanding niggas, dog. I mean, I'm not even. I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm yeah. laughing at the hypocrisy of some of these niggas walking around though. Like, dog. again, this, this is a nigga in the community that. From you know, and I don't know, niggas could be talking shit, but like from the comments, it appears that a lot of people knew that he had that in him. Though. Yeah, that's you supposed to check so that how, nigga. So how he just out here chilling? Yeah, duh. hell no. Yeah, hell that's no. the part I don't understand. And just though that shit just. And I, I was mean, hoping it wasn't true. Like I was hoping like it was something that just misconstrued, bro, nigga. But after hearing some of that shit, I was yeah. like, "Cuz what? Yeah, it's my. You know what the fuck I'm on? You know, it's, I'm like, bro, bro. I'm a drunk as hell, nigga. Like, bro, that's I'm wild. gonna send you an Uber, like, man, man, look. That's some shit like you see on movies, bro. Yeah, I don't like, and that's why. Oh, nigga. And that's that's not a behavior that he just started doing. No, so. that nigga been fucking around on some bullshit for a minute, dog. Oh, God, that that sucks. But when it come like the niggas like fucking with kids, bro, <laughs> you don't you don't even send them, like you ain't got sent to jail, nigga. Or if you <laughs> or if you do send him to jail and lock him up and then have a couple inmates in that bitch and let them know what he did. Dog, you wild for, for real, that. nigga. Because you I, mean, I really, <laughs> if you you fuck around with kids, dog, you need to go ahead and get your ass. Whatever done to you, done to you, dog. If that's beaten, that's killed, that's motherfucking rape, nigga. Whatever, dog. Yeah. See, I, I want, I want dog to get some help. Yeah. Cause I didn't necessarily want R. Kelly to go get killed and raped in jail, yeah. right? Same shit. <laughs> Same shit, right? So you can't play. You I mean, can't play both sides like that. All right, you, gotta, you, get, you get help. Can he, he can go back to society and, just and, be, and that's the that's the question though. Yeah. Can can that type of behavior be reformed? I don't think so. I don't know. Because once you got, uh, all right, for uh, uh, this is way off. That's subject, a good ass question. But though. my thing is, that's like all right. 
he 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 loving little girls. You love pizza. Mm-hmm. Can you just stop eating pizza? Hell though? No. <laughs> like you love doing what you <laughs> doing. Borderline like, diabetic still yeah, can't put that shit. Even down. though that's some shit that you shouldn't be loving, but if he been this way for a minute liking little girls, dog, mm-hmm. I don't think he can refrain himself from just all of a sudden not being attracted. You can't just stop being attracted to women. I mean, just talking crazy yeah. though. Even when we be in relationships, we still find other women other attractive. Women attractive yeah. So You're it's right. like you ain't gonna just you lose your eyes and your thoughts and shit, Bro, dog. That's crazy. I'm talking about just mad aggressive though. Yeah, man. That nigga's that nigga say he don't fucking tell yeah. my boy what? Duh. Who they, say that to a they, young girl, bro? He about saying over and that's why you gotta watch these coaches, these people around. And that's why, dog, everything I do, nigga. Hey, is is you ain't gonna never find nothing. I'm not talking inappropriate. Duh. I look at all these girls and boys got coach boys too. It's like shit. Then my kids when I'm you know what I'm saying with them, I'm protecting them. I mean, dog, it's tight because I just seen some 22, 23 year olds. It's like God damn. Mm-hmm. But still in my head, I'm like, ah, yeah, she 22, 23, she 22, 23. Even, even though she a man, she's old as fuck. It's still she, at fuck. this point, she done graduated college probably. Yeah. Like. But still, yeah. it's just a, yeah, it's a duh. lot, nigga. Duh. Like only because it, I'm probably gonna say it's because I got niggas who got daughters that age at this yeah, point. Exactly. So, so now it's, just, right. it's hella weird. Yeah. Duh. So like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with this chick? Fuck around and run into my 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 homeboy daughter somewhere because this her duh. friend. Exactly. Bro, exactly. Nah, that's why I stopped going to the club, dog. When I start seeing uh my uh Mal, my brother, <laughs> his homeboys in that bitch. Like, hold on. Time for me to go. Me and, this, stage me and this nigga seven years apart, dog. I'm seeing all the chicks right. he used to, I used to see at his high school. Now they up in that mud trying to holler at me. Nah. Yeah. Just it ain't go away. Yeah, let me get the fuck out of here, dog. Right. That nigga was just, all right, I don't talk about that shit no more. All right, let's talk about something else. Yeah, that nigga tripping. Mad nigga tripping. aggressive, though. Yeah, that nigga tripping. I mean, damn, is he talking to grown bitches like that? Like, he's just, but see, and that's the thing. That's why, that's why I be thinking that niggas be attracted to young girls because they, they, damn, I keep doing that shit. They can't. They don't have confidence to get a, a, a grown chick. You think that's what it is? Yeah, they ain't, they ain't got confidence. They don't feel they can get one. I hate to keep using R. Kelly as an example. Oh, no, R. Kelly could got any woman he wants. Yeah, just, so I wonder what his problem is. I think it was is. some shit maybe when he grew up. And see, that's what I'm saying. So, like, it, it be shit going on and they wiring. That's why I, yeah, That's why I'm just like, I want dog to get some help. Like, I, yeah. I you know, I want to be like everybody else and condemn him because obviously he did some wrong shit. But I, I also, I guess it's just the curiosity in me, though. I be wanting to know what's wrong with niggas. Like, Duh. what make a nigga do that shit? Yeah, because I ain't looking at no... Duh. I, no. I, I can't, I don't understand that shit, though. I don't understand that shit either. <laughs> I was, when and I saw then, that shit, I was upset, dog. And then you like, I mean, you literally praying on them, though. Like, mm-hmm. you literally saying, like, know your mama drunk, like, yeah. get up off. Come on, what, bro? But they know, it's, they, they easy, bro, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Night, and then, like, these girls probably trying to Explore shit too at that age, so they don't mm-hmm. know no better. And you know, it's it's him that's being the aggressor and being the the predator and shit. Mm-hmm. But also, you need your mama not to be drunk all the time, <laughs> to where a nigga can, Man, can do where that. they can do that yeah. shit, right? I, you know, I don't want to play the blame game and yeah. shit, but it's got to be some accountability with some of these fucking parents now, too. Like, am I wrong? What's up? Because now I'm thinking about me having a daughter, me having sons, mm-hmm. and. I don't go with my my oldest son. I went his phone one time and uh-huh. stuff like, but I don't I don't go to his phone. I don't want to see nothing stupid, whatever. I just right. I trust that he's not gonna do do or say anything stupid. Cause yeah. I told him like, don't be, I'm like, don't be sending you know what I'm saying your piece or whatever right. to girls and no for sure. Don't be saying crazy shit that can get you in trouble and shit. Yeah, and I'm gonna say the same thing to my uh, yeah, son. We definitely grow up. conversations you gotta have. But with my daughter, I think I'm gonna be like, I gotta check that phone. Mm, let her mama do it. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, right, right. Mama do it. yeah, yeah. Because you, because I would, you would rather check your your son's phone yeah. than have your. You got a conversation just, with them. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a conversation you can have with them. And if she sees something, she got a conversation instead of me going yeah. crazy. And no, because you gonna go crazy. Yeah. She probably will too, but she can, she go go crazy from a female standpoint. For sure, yeah, yeah, you're right. You gonna go right. crazy off soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. For sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah let let her do. It. I I say for. This is a different day and age. Like back yeah. in our day, I was like, eh, no, you ain't got to do yeah. that shit. But these no, days, no, no, you got everything is tied to that phone. So yeah, yeah. I want, and I'm, I'm going to want her to play basketball, and mm-hmm. she might have a male coach. So yeah, yeah me as a as a father, and mm-hmm. I don't mind when the um, I like when the parents come to practice so they can see why a kid is playing or why a kid is not playing yeah. or what their kid is doing. So I, I, I actually, you know, what I'm saying recommend that, you know, what I'm saying. Hey, come come watch what we yeah. do so you know what's up. Hey, you know but what look, I'm come watch. Yeah, come watch. Don't say nothing. That's it. And that's the one thing. <laughs> these parents so far, we haven't had our first game yet. Okay. But so far, they just been watching. They've been showing love. I 
I think they like you know what I'm saying what I'm what I'm saying to the to the yeah. kids and shit, dog. Right, just come watch though, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gotta be. You ain't you gotta, gotta be the coach. You ain't gotta yeah. be the coach unless unless that's something we talked about. Exactly. That's something we talked about. It squared away. Like, all right, you go help us out, mm -hmm. bam. But and I don't need every parent saying, "Hey, let me help you out there." Every loss, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is what you can do. I'm gonna tell you what your girl doing wrong. You can help by coaching her ass at home. Exactly. Cause <laughs> right. Because if, if you was doing your job, everybody was doing their job, we'd be winning every game. Dog, no, that's the bottom line. But no, I, I just think like you know, what I'm saying you gotta be careful. With a little girl, dog. I mean, you got to be careful with your sons, too. But it's something Shit, about... Shit, you do. Yeah. You do. But them girls, dog, you don't want nobody... Like, you don't really hear... You do hear it, but it's more so you hear from a male... I don't know, Talk dog. to a little girl. I don't know, dog. See, that's the thing. Like, I think it's, it's just as important. I don't want to put one over the, over the other. Only because, like, with the little boys, you give them that leeway. And them fucking the older chick is, yeah. is is normalized. Yeah, and you see people but that shit is still molestation. And people be hurt by that shit. Yeah, like you know, you got this 10, 11 year old kid and shit, and this twenty one year old girl. He think that shit cute because yeah. he gets some hair from a grown lady. Yep. But no, now nah, he fucked up. For he fuck. fucked up. Yeah. He getting molested. We had nigga. people on the show talk about how he fucked up about that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put his name out there, but yeah, he. Yeah, you come back to the hood like, yeah, you know, you gonna fuck around, niggas, yeah. grab my dick, like, no. nigga, she's 25. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, you've been molested, bro. For real, nah, for real. Have you, have I mean, you, and I ain't mean to laugh at that shit because it's not funny. Have you encountered some shit like that? I have not. Okay, dog. yeah, me neither. Dog. I have not, but. Because of the era that we came from, you wouldn't mind. It would be something that I wouldn't celebrate. Yeah, you know, sure. niggas talking about like your teacher did what? Yeah, I had a couple of teachers I wish to grab my dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Man. Again, we 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 do not uh, <laughs> we don't condone that, we don't condone that shit. shit. But yeah, that age. But all I know yeah. is that when, but see, I was down there <laughs> when I was at King, though, dog. Miss motherfucking Garland, uh, Miss Garland had to be like 23, no. 24. No, I was 16. <laughs> I wish Miss Garland had to grab my dick, bro. I bet you would have told nobody. Either, I would have told nobody. You didn't, you didn't nobody. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That's the funniest shit I've ever heard about. <laughs> Oh, no, we can't promote that shit. I don't, I don't want to, though. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Garland, dog. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. This nigga said, please touch my dick, girl. <laughs> please, God, even if it's by accident. Duh. Duh. Oh, yeah. shit. For sure, I had, I had, I had two teachers like that, too, dog. We, I was like... What in sixth grade? Well, you know, I talk about this lady a lot, Miss Hope. Was, yes, you do. Yeah, yes, you do. That was my dog yeah. from uh, first grade until uh, sixth grade. Yeah. Like I said, I gave her a Valentine's Day card every motherfucking Valentine's Day from first grade to sixth grade. <laughs> what was the teacher name on Martin? Uh, Miss Um, damn. What damn. The, what I was her fucking her name, fucking dog? Because she's trying to thaw me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Miss, man, I want to say, damn, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't even get it out, dog. Miss. <sighs> Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, but then Miss Hope and Miss Brandy, like yeah. it was a Miss Bandy or Brandy, whatever it was, they were both like some nice young, you know what I'm saying, teachers and whatever. They probably was mm -hmm. in their twenties. I'm eleven and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, they was yeah, they was some, they was, right. they was some nice ones, dog. Yeah, I remember. And this was this was something new though, because like this you know, nigga said, Please. we went <laughs> we went to a you know we was in the inner city. Dog. We went to public schools and yeah. shit. When I was at King. I think that was my 11th grade year, maybe. So I must have been like 17, 16, 17, somewhere in there. And uh, we had a, a, we had a student. Miss Trinidad. Miss Trinidad, yeah. yes. Thank you, Miss Trinidad. Yeah. But yeah, in our English class, we had a uh, like a, a student teacher aide and shit, right? She was like, I guess she went to the college and this was like her little internship shit. Yeah. So she would come work with the English class. Little white girl, dog. This was the first time that I found a white girl attractive. Dude. And I can't remember her name and shit at this point. I do remember she had a little... Uh, she had like a little, uh, what you call that shit? A, a four leaf clover tattoo on her ankle and shit. Yeah. I remember that much and shit, dog. Yeah. Right? But it was it was a very nice looking white woman and shit, right? Yeah. And I think it was at that point that I, I realized, like, damn, it's not just black girls 
on earth, nigga. Cause like oh, we sure. we in the inner city, dog. Yeah, so. you, ain't, you ain't seeing no 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 white people at all. Exactly. Like you see a few, but like and then Duh. especially when you you see older women, but like to see ones like damn near our age and shit, that was Duh, a little different. This, that was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> what that shit right yeah. shit. <laughs> hey, I'm getting random people in my life. Like yeah. I PayPal per, uh pop promoter. I know it's a fake person. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got I probably block that person, dog. <laughs> Hey, you know, they be taking over your account and shit, nigga. Fucking Miss Trinidad. No, but yeah, that shit, that shit funny. But yeah. I definitely got tears, nigga. No, that shit funny as hell, dog. Damn, iTunes podcast promoter. You got all the hey, same pages on your shit. Hey, y'all, give me a podcast deal, man. Shit, I'm ready. Man, you ain't bullshit. No, but yeah, that's, that shit, dog. But yeah, you got to be careful, dog. Like yeah, I said, man. Yeah, we're both, though. And I'm, I'm really like, especially with the little girl growing up, like, you, you got to worry mm-hmm. about these, man. Hopefully, you ain't no... Fucking predator ass niggas in the school trying to, you know what I'm saying, get yeah. hold to them and shit, dog. Right. But yeah, get some fucking help, y'all. Like, if you know somebody, or if you think somebody on the, on some bullshit time like that, mm-hmm. nigga, beat their ass, whatever, nigga. Like, and I'm gonna even go, I'm gonna go a step, <laughs> and this this is this is a tough one. That I don't think nobody will really take advantage of, but on some real shit, dog, it's a conversation that need to be had. Yeah. If you if you one of those niggas or or one of those females, how yeah. it work? That has those urges. Yeah, you need to talk to somebody too. Like I know that, obviously, when when you had that conversation, somebody gonna want to kick your ass. No, like, for that's sure. that's gonna happen. Hell yeah! But if you having them crazy motherfuckers, talk to somebody, nigga, because you need to get that fixed. Yeah, you, dog. like you don't want to you don't want to take that into later in life, nigga, yeah. where you having these urges with for for young kids. Yeah, man. Like yeah. unfortunately, it's not a conversation that nobody want to have. But if you having them motherfucking urges, yeah. man, please go see some help, dog. Hell yeah! And then, cause I remember, nigga, as a coach, like I said, I got girls, and you know, young developing girls that's in middle school. Mm-hmm. And I, man, one girl came in with some, like some little biker shorts. I'm like, dog, <laughs> right? Get the fuck the out of here. Second work. Like, <laughs> second nigga, you not practice? You ain't got no regular shorts. Nope. Well, right. guess what? You ain't practicing. Ain't practicing that. That. Because right. if your dad come in here and see you with those shorts, if I'm him, I'm questioning me and why I'm allowing this. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, you can't practice with us. Yeah. And then I had another girl with the new school. You know how those girls was wearing like uh, women was wearing um those leggings, Double but it, it kind of make your it kind of make your ass a little bit. Yeah. So she came into practice with the, with some shorts like that, mm-hmm. and I'm like, Darche, the same happened. Fuck out of here, right. dog. Like, right. like you're not about to be practicing around me with these shorts on, dog. Cause yeah. you know what I'm saying these these girls out here, they don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? But and, they, and, again, and they do know better, but. Right. Nigga, I gotta check you now. You ain't practicing with me with your ass. Cause I don't up, want dog. nobody getting the wrong idea. Hell no. Like, I don't want. I don't want motherfuckers looking to get the wrong idea. I don't want the other girls on the team to think it's a good idea. Exactly. I, 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 she doing it. I can do. It. No, yeah, ain't none of that. Hell shit. Hell no. And I got rules. Like we be having group chat with mm-hmm. the basketball team. Is nigga rules. Nigga certain hours. You can't don't nigga don't include me. You have your own personal. Have shit. your own personal shit, right? Don't be asking me no dumb shit. If it ain't about basketball, it ain't about school, or what's or how you doing, or something like that. Yeah. Then don't talk to me. Nigga, boundaries, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I don't want to know about. I don't need to know about nothing else. Hell no, boundaries, nigga. You Hell gotta yeah, set the bitch. Yeah, that shit crazy, though. That nigga the, say the boundaries, the bitches, not the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this nigga. That's t- please touch my dick, Miss Craig. <laughs> no, Miss Garland, nigga. God no, damn. that shit's shit. funny. Shit, I wonder what happened to her. Man, she probably about what? How old she not, nigga? Shit, I mean, she was twenty three then. She only got me about six years. She about a good fifty now. Though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She got fifty shit. boss. She probably Miss Garland grown man. with grand with great grand you ain't, shit. I'm surprised you ain't looked her up on Facebook. Nigga. Shit, I don't remember her first name. Nigga. Duh. <laughs> now growing up, dog, like going through college and shit like that, dog. Mm-hmm. Um, do you realize now that you were chasing the wrong shit and not really knowing about life, like and what could really make you money? Oh yeah, I. Well, I ain't gonna say that though because I learned I learned early, dog. Like I say, by the time I got to that third, what's that third? Well, fourth year in college, <laughs> I guess we call it my third year at Adrian and shit. I did that internship out at a uh, Black Enterprise and shit out in New York. Yeah, and having a conversation with them. Shout out to uh, Earl Graves, uh, the the original. Uh, the the originator of Black Enterprise. Yeah, and uh, you know the people that work under him. Like having those conversations with them, and getting into a conversation about entrepreneurship, and just about how you can be successful following your passion. Mm-hmm. These were ideas that I, you know, I didn't have before yeah. I met, you know, all the all these adults. Yeah. So by that point, I I brought that back home with me and decided that you know instead of chasing the money, 
I would rather chase the the love and the passion and yeah. the dream, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. Because like you get you get so much fulfillment out of that, and like people say, like the money eventually it, it comes. It comes, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I I've been fortunate in a, in a lot of situations to where like you know shit got tight, but I ain't never really just been out in this bitch like yeah. on my on my ass on my hell knuckles, yeah. you know. Yeah, for so, sure, hell yeah. Yeah, like, following your passion, following your dreams is is really important, dog. Because like chasing the dollar. A lot of people that have done that, and then they get to my age, and they they find themselves in a career or in a life that they don't really want. Yeah, man. Yeah. I never really like dog. My whole passion was always uh basketball. Yeah. Now I used to hate when people say um you gotta have something on the side, you gotta have something on the side, dog. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm thinking that you harm me now, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you don't believe in my dream and shit, dog. Right. But I'm like, you the know fact what I'm is that nobody will. Nobody yeah. ever believes in no. your dream. So I'm like, it's all about that shit. But then when I became of age and seemed like this shit ain't about to happen, yeah. my grades on some bullshit. <laughs> I ain't really like. No, your grades on no bullshit. You was on bullshit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> right. I ain't really like working like how other niggas is. I'm I'm hooping, but niggas probably like working, going to the gym and shit. I ain't know about that shit. Yeah. So it's like sun up, sun down. They hooping. Yeah. So it's like nigga, that shit was dead. So it's like uh, shit. What's next? And I'm like, shit. I don't know. I ain't yeah. have a passion for nothing, dog. And then I remember like trying shit dog, but uh hold on, I gotta sneeze like a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit was Bless you. Yeah, that, yeah. And I'm like, nigga, I ain't know what, what to chase. And then I remember with the music shit, like I said, it wasn't a love, it was something I did just cause I'm like, all right, I got a kid, maybe this can this can pop up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't nothing became a passion of mine until I started coaching. Then I'm like, damn, I like this shit, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm like, where and I wasn't thinking about money, like where the money at, I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah. It was just something I like doing. And then with this podcast shit, that became like a passion of mine too. And I'm like, hey, this maybe can equate to some money in the future. And I love yeah, doing it. Love doing it. And yeah. I like doing that shit for free. I wish I would have known, like, oh, I, I like this type of shit early on. Because yeah. then I could attack that shit at 23, 24. Yeah, I don't know. Just, you just wish, right? You yeah. just wish shit like that will happen. But a lot of times it don't. I, I think that everybody's clock is different. Yeah. You find out your passion whenever you find it. Like some <laughs> niggas... It, they be they be long in the tooth, nigga. They be 50, 60 years old no, before for they sure. realize, like, oh, shit. Going back to school and Bruh, shit. I always think about, and this is probably a, a bad analogy, but I always think about Sam Jackson, though, dog. Like, he old as hell. Yeah, for sure. He ain't started fucking around. He was 40 or some shit. Like, yeah. you know, so, like, it, it might take a little while for you to figure yeah, out right. what it is you want. That's what, niggas be thinking, what's name got on early? That nigga got on late. Uh, cool. Rick Ross? Yeah. With the I, music I, shit? Yeah, those niggas got on late, like. Yo, yo, timing is your timing for yeah, real, for real. No, for sure. Yeah. And then I think about niggas like Gilly and Wallow with the podcast. Like Wallow, mm -hmm. that nigga did uh, twenty piece in jail, nigga. Yeah, and, and what's what's dope about that though is like, like I said, obviously it's got it's got some connection with with Gilly too, yeah. though. But it's just the fact that he he didn't spend a vast majority of his life, nigga, yeah. locked down, mm -hmm. and he came out this bitch and was working. Like again, I know it, by association he probably got a little leg up, but. Yeah. That that's just go to show you like you can you can get shit accomplished, nigga. No, for you, sure. you just got to do that shit. Now, if I ever interview him, I would I would love to interview Wallo. Uh, I would I want I will always ask, I wanted to ask him that question. Mm -hmm. Do he feel? Of course, I'm, I'm I believe that he knew like he knew one day like this shit pop off and mm -hmm. shit like that, and now he probably had that that vision when he was locked up. Mm -hmm. But I wonder like how long it would have took him to pop off if Gilly wasn't his cousin. Mm. Like, like, well, like, see, you know, say what would happen then? It depends on what you what you ask me, though. Because yeah. if you're talking about the success of the podcast, then yeah, maybe maybe not so much. But like his uh, like his his passion for reform and showing niggas who've been locked up mm -hmm. how to get their life straight. Yeah. That shit was happening, no, regardless. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it might have not been no podcast. It might have just been part of some organization he was gonna get was gonna, he was gonna, he was gonna get popping getting yeah. that word out because yeah. he passionate about that shit and he lived it because mm -hmm. like you can't tell a nigga who didn't did down in the 30 that he don't know what he's talking about no exactly <laughs> he, yeah. he didn't put it in 30 like yeah. niggas ain't putting that shit in at their job that nigga you ins and outs everything <laughs> no, he put that bitch in behind bars nigga, so but and then it's like shit even though your cousin gilly that mm -hmm. like he he his career was good you know he had decent career with, with music but like, shit, like, don't say that in Philly. Oh, that, that nigga a god. In oh no, Philly. no, I'm talking about like just on the, on the mainstream platform <laughs> the mainstream, and shit. Yeah, yeah. But it's like they kind of like needed each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because this, I think he will probably agree. This is probably like the most, you know, what I'm saying money and and, and doing the less work that he yeah. you know have ever done in his life. I mean, shit. From from their stories, they they the one too. They, they yeah. always been the one too. For, so, sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Now, is it fucked up to be like just be 
when you I with them, I don't think I can see like them breaking up, but with relationships, when I see business, when I see friendships, mm. I'm always waiting for the downfall. <laughs> Damn. Like, up. like even with relationships <laughs> like this, I'm, and I'm not saying getting wild because they cuz I think they yeah, they fight they through. What's short. good? What's good? My dogs connected. The connected dog. What up, dog? I mean, uh, I said uh, I'm about to say experience. yeah, connected experience. I'm about to say something else. Yeah, what up, dog? See y'all niggas tonight, yeah. man. Oh, oh yeah, I'll see y'all. Uh, I'll see y'all next uh, Sunday. I see yeah. But no, I always it's fucked up that I think like that, dog. I'm always waiting for the downfall. Yeah. Honestly, this relationship I have right now with my wife is the mm. first relationship. That I didn't see the end. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. Prior to this, though, I seen that you know, saying I had what two relationships, real relationships, uh, you know, saying I count my high school shit. Hey, so just looking at that though, like so, looking at that relationship and looking at the past relationships, you say this is this the time that you're not looking at like damn, this, oh, shit, it's gonna this, end this way. Yeah. Um, you think it's you think it's the relationship or you think it's you? Like which one you think it has evolved? Like you just got a dog ass relationship or you've changed as a person and now you see things different. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just curious because, like, yeah. you, you know, you get into new shit and you like, uh, and you're like, yeah, so this is one of the first times and you, you can contribute it to a relationship. Like, yeah, so this relationship is this, so not, I don't yeah. worry about that. But for sure, for sure. Is, it, is it you also just maturing and don't see things the same way? No, it, it, yeah. it's for sure on some old, some maturity stuff. Yeah. Because back then, you know, you young, you ain't thinking about nothing but yourself. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? I got my son, so I'm thinking about him or whatever at the yeah. time. And she on here now too. Eh? You don't never be on live, but now you on live. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's uh, it's a little bit of maturity. It's a little bit of being with the wrong people. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying. It's a combination of all things, dog. Yeah. But it's like it's always fucked up with me. I always think that way. It's like when is when is the end? When is go fuck up? This going it ain't gonna ever. It ain't gonna last forever. <laughs> I always think like that until now, but yeah. prior to, prior to that with everything, though, I was like, it's like waiting on the shit, yeah, to go waiting on a downfall. And then when you Damn, see, that's you, fucked up. and you see it so much though, yeah, that's true. Like like it's, right now, it's so easy for people to give up a relationships, dog. Like it, romantic relationships, friendships, whatever, whatever you fuck up is family, whatever. It's easy to say fuck. It. I'm I'm done. I'm out. Like right now, people ain't trying to work on things. They just trying to leave it. Right. You no, know what I'm saying? For sure. Because it's, it's it's too easy to quit. Mm -hmm. Like everything too easy to quit, though. Jobs, relationships, nigga, life, unfortunately. Like it's uh it's everything too fucking easy to quit. Yeah. So niggas like and again I ain't gonna say yeah. niggas is soft, but yeah. <laughs> but like it's like people don't like to face the turmoil. Like yeah. you, you got to. It's like facing your fears, nigga. I know that shit is a, a cliche, but like you you literally have to. In order yeah. to move forward, you gotta face shit. Yeah, yeah, because like the uh, other day I just seen what's the name? Dame, Dame Dollar. Uh -huh. Dame Lillard just filed divorce from his wife. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. You know, yeah. it's like, bro, like, damn, what happened to? And I'm, I'm not knowing what's going on in their personal life, but what happened to fighting for this shit, dog? You know what I'm saying? Maybe they did. I don't. Yeah, maybe. Like I say, I don't know. Maybe this was the boiling point. Like, but, oh, fuck this, I ain't fighting no more. But back in the day, you seen you, and you wonder why your grandma stayed with your granddad, and he got. Two kids at the same age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, <laughs> and they're not, and they're not, Project twins. and they're not twins, like right. you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, and is that the right thing to do? Maybe not, but yeah. I do think, right in this day and age, we don't, we don't fight for shit. We just leave off the first sign. And then, you know, let me say this too, though. Uh, just uh, with with that, it's it's something strange though about how people do shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you just never know why people do shit. And I say that because, like you say about how niggas give up on their relationships, like, mm -hmm. you don't know what happened. Like, maybe they was fighting that shit For out sure. and couldn't it do just, it. Yeah. Just uh, re uh, reflect on the shit I seen the other day. It's, it's this show where you, like, can trace your family history or whatever. Yeah. I had first seen this shit, I think, uh, might have been Kevin Hart or some shit. I can't remember. But anyway, I saw the one with Jerome Bettis. Yeah. And he had he was going through the, the files and shit, and he was talking about how his moms was saying their granddaddy had just basically uh, disappeared and shit. Yeah. Like, they ain't know what happened. So he go back through the files and shit and find out that his granddad had actually divorced uh, the grandma and shit, yeah. and uh, like he ended up moving away and shit. And he was he was talking about how how like damn, how could you abandon your family like that, right? So this is his first perception of his, of his uh, great granddad, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So, but then going back through the history, he found out like it was some more shit going on. Yeah. And that's all I'm saying is like like people 
leave families and break up families and shit and you had this notion of yeah. like what really happened for sure but then once you go back and see like oh shit yeah, i understand yeah, yeah i understand like this thing wasn't really a bad person like yeah. this that and the third happened for you, sure. know? you just thinking like he didn't fuck the family yeah. up. exactly yeah, but not yeah, knowing what really you know had went down and shit so yeah that's why i was but saying, no, yeah, I, say I, that shit. I, yeah I, I thought about that john though dog like nigga relationship with my oldest son mom yeah. i'm just i'm like this ain't gonna last yeah. it's gonna be over <laughs> like this shit ain't gonna last Right. I just knew it. I just knew it, dog. Just because the way shit was going, like, yeah. second relationship, oh, this definitely ain't about, damn, this ain't about, <laughs> ah, this ain't about last. Like, this is the first one, I'm like, all right, this yeah. shit last. Maybe because I care more. Maybe because, like I said, I mature, you know, some bad thing. I was just thinking about nigga having fun, nigga. Yeah, that's why I say uh, some of it might actually just be you. Yeah. Maturing. Having shit, a good so ass yeah. time, nigga. But yeah, shout out to the motherfuckers who fight for love and shout out to the ones who say fuck it, dog. For sure. <laughs> but I ain't, how relaxing is it, though? Like you say, you just fucking around having fun and shit. But how relaxing is it to, now to be able to have fun and not fearing that the end is near. Yeah, for sure. It's just nice yeah. though, right? No, it's for sure. Nice. And you ain't got to worry about nobody being on your back. You ain't got to yeah. worry about like, because I remember being in relationships like, no, oh, what the fuck? She out here hoeing? Like, she yeah. out here doing this? Like, and not so so somebody not being on your back and also somebody who has your back. Yeah, too, no, for like, that's, sure. Yeah, that's yeah. some shit too. Like to know that like, all right, if I fall off, I know she got me type yeah. shit. Like, and you and yeah. nigga, somebody you could trust. That's big. <laughs> Man, <laughs> cause nigga, you trust them to do what the fuck they gonna do. No, <laughs> nigga, like right right now, nigga, she can leave and do whatever she wants, and I'm not, I'm yeah. clear like, uh, nigga, she called me, I'm like, nigga, what you call me for, nigga, dude? Right. Nigga, I'll see when you get here, nigga. Yeah. Like, no, for but sure. then, you know, that was, that's maturity. You and that bitch, what the fuck, where the fuck you at, bitch? <laughs> Duh, for real. Nigga, get your ass home. You out there on, you know what I'm saying? And that's a toxic trait for a nigga. lot of women. Who desire that type of response? Yeah, dog. Some women want that response. No, for sure. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you, ladies. Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm hell sorry. yeah. Now, dog, you know, you know, we've been, um, I've been asking niggas about their albums and shit, dog. Their mm -hmm. albums, and then you know, what I'm saying talk about fucking track lists and go off yeah. the track list as a, as a as a conversation piece. For sure. So you said cocktails, dog. You know, what yeah, saying? yeah, cocktails, my shit, dog. Too short, Anybody shit, who dog. know me know that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So coming up short, dog. <laughs> Coming up short, fucking with too short, too short, bitch, bitch. That's my shit. That nigga said, and those bars, no, nah, it was the bars, nigga. Nah, but was there ever, you know, saying a time when you was uh so anxious to knock a girl down, nigga? You came up short, dog. Oh, nigga, for sure. <laughs> It ain't a, it ain't no nigga on earth that ain't ever did that, bro. Duh. I'm talking about when I was in uh, I guess it's cool to talk about this shit now. When I was in college, bro. Um, damn, which one I want to, which one I want to talk about? Let me see, because it was a few that happened in college, for real, though. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going I'm to go to my first, uh, my first Caucasian girl experience and shit, though. Uh, the, the first time, I think that I was, uh, I was hella nervous, because, like, I just never fucked around with a white chick, so I ain't know, yeah. like, what to do. Yeah. So, like, motherfucking dick wouldn't get hard, nigga, yeah. like, so it was kind of fucked up, came up extra short, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, I'm talking about, I'm talking about got some head and shit. Still couldn't get an erection, nigga. Duh. Like, like a nigga had erectile dysfunction, nigga. nigga at, at, at fucking what was that? Nineteen? Yeah. So was it was it nervous or just like something new that fucked you up? Nervous, something yeah. new, like cause like no, it's black girls my whole yeah. life, nigga. Hell like, yeah. I don't even know, like you know, is this shit gonna be the same? Like, do I say the same shit? Yeah. Like. Can I be aggressive with it? Like, is she gonna say, you know, uh, you know, we in, sure. we is in that rape culture, you know? Like, yeah. I, I don't want to do shit that was man, for sure. <laughs> out of line, nigga. And it been Bill Cosby in this no, bitch. No, you feel me? So like, yeah, I, definitely, de definitely has yeah, that has happened before, and and that one other time, I, I don't want to put her on blast. I fuck, I'm put her on blast. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I won't say who and shit, but nigga, anybody who's watched this should know and shit. This was back in the day when me and Mon Money used to live on uh, Wayburn and shit. So uh, I had a little situation coming through and shit. She yeah. decided she wanted to go out with her friends and shit. She gonna come through later on. So I'm like, bet. Yeah. So me and dog, we we getting fucked up. We I done got high, drunk, everything. It's like two thirty. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm just gonna leave the, the you know the door unlocked. Yeah. So she finally get to that motherfucker probably about three. Like I'm in the back, <laughs> passed out, nigga. So she come in and shit. You know she didn't got got her little lick in. And shit. Yeah. She trying to get all freaky and shit. Dog commits to giving nigga some motherfucking <laughs> monster head, nigga. Duh. So like it was it was cool at first. I'm like, oh shit, baby, hell yeah, good to see. Duh. Went straight to sleep. So you was nigga. high, you had to be high blow or something. Duh, I fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Went straight to sleep. Duh. Mid mid motherfucking head job, nigga. And she in that bitch, nigga. Duh, you talking about, feel bad. You talking about a bitch mad? Man. Duh, what? Cause she, she, 
Can't I want to say head. she left. I want to say she ended up no, leaving right did. after that. Yeah, fuck, no. yeah, I fucked that up. Yeah, she right did. Did you ever talk to her again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you ever smashed again? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. they fuck you up too nah, bad. she was just mad for the weekend. Now, uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, what's that? I'm, I'm going to say uh, we do this. Mm -hmm. So... You got yeah, it. Tupac on that bitch, MC Breed. Yeah. So when was a uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, when yeah. did you figure out like nigga as a um as a brand mm -hmm. like nigga yeah we do this shit like nigga we nigga you ain't fucking with, with what I got going on as far as like this podcast shit this yeah. you know what I'm saying flip side all that shit. No, I think the the first time really like for real for real I think was when we got nominated for that award out in uh, Charlotte. Out in Charlotte, yeah. yeah. Just to be recognized out of town, mm -hmm. like when you you know when you local, you feel like all right everybody you you trying to get on everybody's list here because yeah. like you know these are people you can touch, but like to to be nominated nationally like that. Like that was when I was like, oh shit, we yeah. we doing something yeah, I for it. That boy clowning on the live. Yeah, for uh, sure. You ain't heard that song though with Breed. Uh, yeah, boy, I did. I, I got. I, I'm gonna hear it again. It's been yeah. a long time. I wanna I'm gonna say uh, Pimp C on that bitch. Maybe. All right, maybe not. All right, Father maybe. Don. No, it might not be Pimp C. I thought yeah. It was. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but yeah. So that's when you say you felt like okay, I think we doing some. Yeah, I feel like right, we in here though. Yeah. yeah now yeah. at that moment, did you feel like? Oh, it's only it's only a matter of time before nigga this shit get recognized. We blew up and make money, nigga. Hell yeah, because the the shit that we got nominated for and won was yeah. the the next to blow, yeah. nigga. That was that was the, <laughs> that's the a, award that we won. And, and when was that? Nineteen. So we we about four years later. No, we, no, it's still, we it's, still the next still to blow. blow, nigga. Still next to blow. <laughs> right. Shit, fuck it. We about to still come. Now, uh, things <laughs> change, dog. Uh, what happened? Yeah, he said, yeah, we about to come. Oh yeah, we about to come, nigga. Hell yeah, <laughs> about to blow. Hell yeah, <laughs> about to come. <laughs> Hell yeah, all in her mouth. But no, uh, things change. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, when did things change for you? When you want to be more so behind the scenes and not be the person in front of the camera? Duh, really? Like this was just some shit. I really, uh, I let me see. When did I really? Cause I kind of I changed my mind a long time ago. I yeah. just never got to it. Yeah. So like really, when I went to when I went to Denver, and we was doing the show remotely again, mm -hmm. we just had to be like the first oh, yeah, niggas yeah. early on doing, early. doing that shit remotely. But um, yeah, I was I was doing an internship at uh, what's the name of that shit? Denver uh, Denver Open Media, mm -hmm. and that's where I was doing all the behind the scenes shit. Like I got my hands on a lot of fucking soundboards and cameras and shit, and like. It was cool. Like from that point forward, I wanted to be on the other side. I wanted to be on the creative, yeah, you know, yeah. creativity side. So when I got back, you know, these niggas weren't really, you know, they weren't really hearing it. You know, for yeah. a while, Angry Man wasn't even on camera and shit. So then that's when I decided, like, like niggas want to know who Angry Man is anyway. For so sure. like, yeah. let's slide him to the camera. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let let these two niggas get their camera time and let me just kind of focus Play back on. Roll. Yeah, when they ready for it, I'm gonna back all the way out. Yeah. Shit. I'm just let them niggas do it. Oh, you gonna have them have a conversation? Yeah, piece? yeah. And you gonna like, say shit? No, I'm just gonna yeah. control the shit because what well, it's it's easier to do that by itself yeah. rather than trying to do everything at one time. And yeah, shit. But I no. I really like it, and plus like behind here i get to make it look the way i want to yeah, look. make the magic yeah i used to make the magic right without having to worry about talking and shit so yeah, yeah i've been made that transition in my head but yeah. just recently maybe what a couple of years ago yeah i decided i'm gonna try to phase myself all the way out yeah. and then like you know by doing other people's podcasts like yeah. no shot but you, everybody podcast but yeah hey, you know but uh <laughs> the barber shit you can't you you, you, you that too <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm stuck in that. Yeah, even, yeah. even though they they the they the ones. Yeah. But you know, angry principal ain't gonna get on yeah, camera. So it's gonna so. kind of look crazy. Yeah. 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 Now if he would get on camera, psh, I'm out of here. You ain't got nothing to say. Nah. Oh shit. Nah, man. I'm out of here. You will miss it though, dog. If you, I oh, would miss it. I'm gonna still be drinking. But you'll be interested to have a little, you know, saying something to say and shit, no. dog. You know, maybe on the maybe on the uh, the live show. Yeah. But like just the reviews and yeah, shit. You I'll, good. Let them, I'll lead them to it. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Because they the ones who know the shit for real. Yeah. Like the only reason I'm really talking on that motherfucker now is just for recognition, for face recognition. Like, oh, that's my man's and shit. Yeah, for sure. So then maybe they'll watch the show and then you listen to these niggas though. Yeah, man, <laughs> like, that shit crazy, dog. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I don't and a lot of people not like that though. They can't they don't know how to step out the way. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I don't want to be and that nigga shine. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, if the end goal is gonna be the same, yeah. fuck it, nigga. The end goal always gonna be money. Yeah. And shit, if it, if it make if it made sense for me not to be around and Right. Still get money, but still got something to do with it. Then yeah. cool. Some niggas, they want that shine though, dog. That's it. The shine is more important. Which you're, and and that's that's fine. Like yeah. that's what you was in it for. I mean, I, I want the shine too. But at the end of the day, though, it's like 
sometimes you got people on the team that's like it, it it just worked better yeah and let me slide back back here where i know i can handle this shit and yeah. then i don't have to do you know both yeah so. yeah now uh now game though who you feel like gave you game when it came to we ain't gonna say the the normal answer to, to women and shit mm -hmm. but who 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 gave you the most important game when it comes to this whole broadcasting shit dog like in, in the whole as a mm -hmm. as a host as a producer as a creator whatever yeah um I mean, as a producer, of course, you know, I got to get that to uh, Miles. Shout mm -hmm. out to uh, my man, Miles Dixon, yeah. over at uh, Podcasting, though. I got to get that to him because, again, this whole shit, this whole shit, I wasn't, let me see. We came, well, I mean, we came up with the idea after, you know, shout out to uh, Jay and shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> my little brother decided we wanted, we wanted to do it, and yeah, he yeah. never did that shit. That nigga here, nigga was never around. But, like, even around that time, Miles was already doing shit. And it's, it's actually where I got the term uh, cloud radio from. Like, yeah. they were saying that shit. So oh, I just... Oh, Miles now? Yeah, okay. so I just kind of ran with that shit. Because, yeah. you know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't nothing called a, a podcast at that point. Yeah. So instead of calling internet radio, like, he called it cloud radio. And yeah. I've been running with that shit ever since. Yeah, I know that shit, yeah. Yeah, I got that shit from them. Yeah. Um, I think that shit was called Spun Radio, and the SPUN was a acronym. I can't remember okay. what it stood for at this point, but... Yeah, they was doing. They was rocking that motherfucker out, dog. They was doing a morning show then. This yeah. was before I started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. So I shout out to him for giving me that game, and even even on the tip of trying to branch into merchandising, mm -hmm. like he the one who put me hip to Shopify and all that stuff. Shit that I ain't know. Yeah, for I'm sure. thinking I had to go buy T-shirts and yeah, shit. He was like, no, make it, send it. Yeah, yeah. he's like, no, it's the way you can do it where it's print on demand. Like, word. So yeah. he gave me that game for free just on a random conversation we was having. So. Shout out to my man Miles and shit put me in a, a lot of you know what I'm saying good positions to to succeed for sure like yeah. from from writing because like I started off with them doing the magazine work and then uh, you know over into podcasting and shit so yeah shout out to Miles shout out to uh, shout out to Melissa dog Missy Talbot man rest in peace to her shout out to her too she was a beautiful soul man beautiful yeah. soul so she was that was that was his partner yeah I met them together you know what I'm saying that down at Sweetwater. When uh you know angry principal forced me to introduce myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good things came from that shit. No, no, for sure. So for what sure. what you you was writing? What they had magazines and some shit? Yeah, so they had a uh, they had a magazine. But first off, uh you know they was producing Switch Play TV, which was like Detroit's version of Saturday Night Live. Dog, mm -hmm. like this was the the only this the only skit show that I ever seen that was local yeah. that made it to like that that kind of level. Like they sure. was they was getting busy, nigga. They yeah. was on TV. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I think I want to say Channel Twenty and shit, but they was on for a minute yeah. and you know doing sketch work and shit. So that's how that shit originally started. They was looking for writers, yeah. writers for you know the, the TV show and shit. So when I slid over there, uh, you know they had all their writers for the TV show, but they was starting a uh, entrepreneurs magazine. Mm -hmm. So they gave me the option to write some stuff and do some editing in there. And that's how our relationship started, just uh, doing some writing and editing for uh, the magazine. And then she, she just start, you know, propelling. And the cool thing about our relationship, though, is that sometimes we get we, we get shit going, things start going a different direction. We, you know, we both doing our own thing so we can slide apart, do shit. Mm -hmm. But, like, that relationship is always there. Yeah, and that, it's dope and that's something that don't always happen. Like, yeah. sometimes... If you get into a situation and shit don't work out, then you just go on forever. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because like even with this, with the podcast thing, like you know, we separately been doing our shit the whole time and shit. Yeah. But like that that option or that opportunity is still you yeah, know yeah. Is still there for us to co you know collab, nah. and that shit don't happen all the time. I remember that time, nigga, when I thought. I thought I was gonna get Biggie, you know, a nigga who played Biggie and shit <laughs> yeah. on the podcast, and you hit him up, and he was gonna set everything up for me. Yeah, because that's the love, that's the like, relationship we got. Yeah. I'm like, damn, why like, this nigga out of town? That nigga spent me, boy. Spent yeah. a rooski, nigga. Spent a rooski. That spent... nigga. Now, that nigga, though, yeah. that's the Tubi motherfucker. Oh, yeah. That nigga on every yeah. movie. Come like, hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> I get this interview, nigga. That's going to be dope as hell, nigga. I, yeah. I ain't listened to this. I ain't went back and listened to this nigga. Um, old mixtapes, nigga. Yeah. We can, we can still, we should, well, we we should, should make still work on that. Because, like, I don't know what happened with the busy. scheduling and shit. Yeah, probably but, busy, but yeah, yeah that's, that's the one I'm just like, oh, hell yeah, nigga. I'm yeah. like, damn, this nigga really hit me back. And I and I'm actually still interested. I'm still interested yeah. in getting them on. Yeah, no, I'd be sure. dope, but just to just I would love to know like like when did he get in his mind, like, all right, this two B shit is gonna mm -hmm. be 
is 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 is, is the shit right now. That's what I'm yeah. doing. I'm doing this shit. shit. They couldn't check. Man, he ain't capitalized off this shit like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't check. Like he doing yeah. three and four movies a year, nigga. No, like, I swear to God, probably more than that. Yeah. I keep seeing shit, keep seeing shit. I seen one the other day. Had me fucked up. Like, damn, this nigga net. And I want to know, like, if, I wonder did he make that transition over there because he was probably they were trying to typecast him just by playing the Biggie movie. Probably because yeah, I can see movies so. like that. Movies like Biggie, when you playing somebody, it can hurt you. You know especially, when you, especially when you like really play yeah. this shit with, and, and then every time I see you, oh, that's big, that's big, that's big. Just like the pot nigga. Yeah, he gonna always just be. Yeah, the pot he gonna, nigga and, 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 and it, it hurt that he looked just like this nigga. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Actually. I think the only person that kind of like was able to play a character and still do his thing and not be typecast was uh Chadwick Boseman. Mm -hmm. When because you know he did he did a lot of people. He did uh, Jackie Robinson. He yeah. did uh um what's my man name? Um, damn. Dancing nigga, uh, oh yeah, James Brown. James Brown, I don't know why the fuck I had that was brain my first. shit. Yeah, he, that he, was my shit. He did that, and he didn't get stuck in that character. He, um, you know what I'm saying? I think he did. No, I wasn't. He did Ant the nigga who played Antoine Fisher did uh Diddy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he didn't get stuck in that character. And he was able to, you know, right? What I'm and, and he didn't. Yeah. He didn't get stuck in exactly. playing Diddy. And but shit. the Biggie shit is like I think because they look so much like the character. Well, he don't look just like Biggie, but it he just pulled it off. Like, it might be that character that. Make his whole think of his personality, like he pulled his shit off. Yeah, it was it was a, it was good casting. Hell sure. yeah. Now, um, don't fuck for free. <laughs> Is it ever a time that you that you can like? Cause niggas say they don't pay for pussy, but at the end of the day, you are paying. Yeah. Because if you take some them, way. you taking them out. You you get a room. Yeah. Whatever it is, you paying for it. But some was way. there a time that you just came up on some ass off to this? I just met you. And I'm smashing that same day, nigga. I ain't do shit. I ain't work for this shit at all. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> shout out to uh shout out to my Uber Bay. Yeah. <laughs> out in Denver. <laughs> no, I don't even know I if I should be talking shit. about this. I forgot about that shit, dog. But yeah, shout out to uh Uber Bay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was one I just came up on, dog. Yeah. Just on some I don't even know. Nigga, just on some finesse shit, dog. Nigga Uber Eats in there, bitch. No. <laughs> I mean, just randomly, like, she pull up. Somehow we get into a conversation. I told her, like, you know what I'm saying? I still had a couple of homies coming in town. Yeah. Needed a ride from the airport and shit. I know she Ubering, but, yeah. like, if she jump off the clock, kind of throw her a couple of dollars, she go, you know, grab dog and for me. Yeah. She, like, cool. She went and got dog and for me, pulled, pulled back up with the gang and shit. It yeah. was like, you know, shit, what up? What you got up tonight? Shit. <laughs> Get some of your girls. What, what my nigga Biggie say? Get yeah. your girls. I bring my crew. Nigga, you know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. And uh, yeah, that shit went down like that. Her girls ended up flaking, but shit, she yeah. was like, nigga, I'm still gonna pull up. I was like, shit, yeah, for sure. No, nigga had Uber oh, that motherfucker right on that baby. One of the few niggas have a bedroom, and one of the, the only nigga to smack. Well, I was in a relationship, so I wasn't trying to smack. <laughs> <laughs> right, let you clean that up. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was in that bitch. I remember that first night, nigga. I was in that motherfucker slumped. Yeah, I should never <laughs> smoke that weed. Uh. And plus, nigga, just the altitude. Yeah, man, that shit fucked up. That's real, nigga. Time never, change and all that. That shit, shit real, dog. Damn. That altitude shit had me feeling. Like, nigga, I told you, I was like, nigga, you'll feel nauseous when you get there. Nigga, oh, hair was yeah. light as fuck, boy. Yeah. The air thin in the motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Ain't shout, shout out to uh, Colorado, though. I'm fucking yeah. love Denver. The first motherfucker track ain't nothing like a pimp. <laughs> ain't nothing like pimping. Ain't nothing like pimping. Now you know. But your ass, this nigga, for y'all who don't know, this nigga Q was, uh, had the big worm curls, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like what, at, at point, what point in your life did you really thought like did you really want to be a pimp like on some pimp shit? No, I'm not even gonna hold you. This is real life. Yeah. So you're talking about first of all, my old man ain't never drove nothing but caddies. Yeah. So that's all right. right. Pimp mobile right there. Yeah. There, there's been rumors that he may or may not have been a pimp at some point. Yeah. I don't know I if that it. shit true. But then, then you gotta realize I read uh, Iceberg Slim Pimp. I read that shit. I read the bare naked soul of Iceberg Slim, oh, right? Man. And then I I watched Invested. the Mac, you know what I'm saying? I watched the Mac, and then I watched Pimps Up, Holes Down, and it was a nigga on there named Payroll, dog. Payroll yeah. is a fat nigga with long hair and shit, Duh. and some long ass nails, dog. I just never forget the one line that nigga said, dog. That nigga that nigga said the bitch asked him why his nails so pretty and shit. That nigga Duh. said because all I do is count money and touch bitches. <laughs> And he said it just like that. Duh, this nigga so how do you say that shit? I'm like, dog, fat nigga pimping? Yeah, I could do it. I can do that shit, dog. And then it was like, I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Like in real life, it's probably something wrong with my brain. But in my brain, there was some intrigue in there that just that's it just it just made me intrigued to know what it's like 
to control a woman's mind like that, mm-hmm. dog. It's crazy. Like mm-hmm. I, I, the temptation to want to be able to do that really made me feel like I, w- I wanted to be a pimp, nigga. Man, that shit funny as hell. Yeah, dog. it's crazy. Master manipulation and shit, yeah, dog. Some shit. women might who listening to this right now might think that yeah. I still possess those powers. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to y'all. I apologize. Shout out to. Uh, <laughs> So I was a two shirt man. It's something that I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing with guests, or whenever we have, you know, saying something going on. I like to, you know, go off a nigga favorite album or mm-hmm. album they've been listening to. It just you could turn the track into a conversation. Duh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I like that shit though. That was fun. Yeah, yeah nigga. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, tag him. Hopefully, uh, two shirt can um, say what's up or you know, <laughs> right? Because you know the Bay and, and Detroit is like cousins, my mm-hmm. nigga. Hell for yeah, sure. but dog, you know, we. We uh did done a lot of shows, dog. A hundred and seventy four. I had to put seventy five <laughs> on my last one, but right. I was wrong. Nigga. Right, hundred seventy four. Hundred seventy four episodes, dog. And um, yeah, niggas ain't niggas ain't as consistent as us, and that's why I like. I hate when we can't do a show. That's why I felt like we had to, you know, what I'm saying record some stuff. Yeah, for sure. But I just want to, you know, what I'm saying take time and show love to some of the guests that's been on here, dog. And I'm gonna start off with a current one. That was like two episodes ago. Okay. Uh, Tory Sky. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Dog. Man, that motherfucking Single. song. Yeah. <laughs> Some, what, Summer Night? Dog. Yeah. I love that fucking dog. song, bro. Dog, she did her motherfucking thing on that song, dog. dog facts. And the thing about it, she can, she always had a nice voice to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my thing. When I go looking for people to come on the show, I, I'm, I'm searching. And I forgot how I even came across her, dog. Yeah. But I listen to her shit. I'm like, damn, she got like a unique voice. It ain't she don't sound like everybody else. I just I love her voice. Duh, that but this one, crazy. I don't know if it's the like she she always been dope, but she took it to a whole nother level on this song. <laughs> I swear to God. And I don't know if it's the relationship. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I don't know if it's the people who you know what I'm saying around her helping around creating. Yeah. Or I don't know if it's just her taking that time to really you know what I'm saying find her voice. But whatever it is, that motherfucking song is hard, dog. Right. No, that shit hard as hell though. And she did her thing, so I want to, I want to salute to Tori Scott, and hopefully that song continue to climb and get played on the radio and get some placements on some movies and all that shit, dog. Yeah. And when she blew no up, I know she ain't gonna forget about me. Just keep coming back. And to that's that's the shit too though, like getting your shit placed in movies and shit. Uh-huh. That's, yeah, that's I think that's a different aim. I think a lot of people should be trying to shoot for that, especially since you're doing a lot of people doing singles. Yeah. So like, yeah, I think that's a that's a, a good goal to have your shit placed like in some kind of movie or some shit. Oh, for sure. And then another uh, another uh, guest, you know what I'm saying? Dang Dad. It was something different. Yeah, for sure. I was happy. I, I'll be happy not to talk to rappers all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes yeah. you just same conversation. Hey, from- on, on the tip of Dang Dad, though, <laughs> real quick, I just want to say, dog, that nigga a good ass father, nigga. Oh, yeah. You yeah. see that nigga post? Yeah, for sure. That nigga for good sure. ass dad, nigga. Hell yeah, that nigga be doing his thing, dog. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? For but real. it was something different, you know what I'm saying, for me, you know what I'm saying, talk to someone in, in the marijuana industry, whatever, dog, yeah. and learning, because, uh, you know, I don't smoke and I don't really know too much about it. Mm. So him giving out game and stuff like that, because, you know, nowadays when you think about weed, you think about profit you think about money you think about you know what I'm saying a business yeah. back in the day you you think about weed you just thought about getting high and niggas on drugs and shit like that you know what, <laughs> what i'm saying on so i think that with, with, the, with what he got going on i think it's really uh helpful and insightful and, and you, change the narrative yeah you're really teaching it and, and and not just thinking about the negatives you know what I'm saying side of uh, uh smoking weed and shit nah for sure hell yeah you got anybody you want to you think about like who been on show that you that kind of like stood out to you from uh from your show yeah. uh phew. Let me see. We had so many, dog. Dog, that's <laughs> right. It's, it's so fucking many, dog. Uh, I want to say, damn, who I want to say, dog? Oh shit, what's dog name? Uh, damn, the nigga, the, the nigga who hat we got, dog. Oh, um, uh, uh, you talking about my nigga? What's name? Stats. Yeah, no, 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 no. The other hat, the uh. Don't be a hater. Oh, 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 n- notorious uh, fan. Yes, dog. Yeah, my nigga I, Royce. Yeah, dog. I fuck Royce with fan. dog. Yeah. I fuck with dog. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with dog. That's and dog was dope. Kind of re- kind of remind me of myself and shit. Yeah. I don't know. All, all fat niggas remind me of myself. Dog, and shit. That's when, they, when they cool and shit. Yeah. Um, dog. You know, and I also I can't remember because this was a minute ago too. I can't mm. remember old girl name the the, uh, the chef. Uh, Oh, um, tomorrow, like back back in the day, day yeah, yeah, when she brought the sandwiches. One. Yeah, damn, them motherfucking sandwiches was good as fuck. Dog, yeah, them bitches was good as fuck. Dog. Damn, them sandwiches was good. 
What always like a fat nigga, right? I'm only, <laughs> only remembering the yeah, food. Yeah, nigga, she had made that good food, nigga. No, she did, though. That food was A1. Let me go. I got to do her you justice. Gotta go, yeah, give her justice. Her name, I want to give dog. her a shout out, dog. But no, her, uh, the thing about why I knew of Sanchez was good because uh-huh. what she told me was on it. Yeah. And niggas know I don't eat white sauce, but it was like a blend or some shit, dog. Oh, yeah. Her name is, um. Damn, because them motherfucking sandwiches was good. Caprice. As fuck. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, Caprice, dog. I'm sorry I forgot your name. And her uh her business is uh brown butter meal prep. Yep, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah Cause she did meal prep. Damn, I ain't been seeing her on uh on social media, dog. Damn, I hope like, she's still she, doing that thing. She still I know she I seen her post something, but yeah. I, I hope you still doing your cooking shit, dog, for real. Yeah. Cause that motherfucker, uh, it was some salmon sliders, dog. Yeah, dog. Fire. Dog, them them Fire. motherfuckers was good, dog. Fire. But it, it's like, for me, it was more so the people who didn't do music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because like, with the music shit, of course, it's easy yeah. to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the people outside of that shit, like those conversations is why, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It comes out to be a little bit better. But Gibson... I just posted that nigga. Yeah, for sure. It was funny yeah, with him. No. Yeah, dog no, 42, though. It was funny that I surprised him on the things that I knew. Yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? I went on his Facebook page, and I remember going back to like 20 fucking 11, 12 yeah. and shit, seeing that nigga in a band. So when for I'm sure. bringing this shit up, he looking like, nigga, who the fuck do you know? Right. So, <laughs> it, and that nigga just, you know, he different as far as like his sound. Yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? No. And he ain't from Detroit, so I think that probably make it a little bit different, too. Yeah. No, for sure. Also, too, uh, I know we just shouted the niggas out earlier on the uh, on the live and shit, but I think the most interesting conversation, or the, I guess the the one that really felt like I was involved in the conversation, was when yeah. the twins was here though. Oh, Shout yeah. out to uh, yeah. Connected Experience, because like like a lot of times, like when I'm producing shit, I be trying to you know I be trying to stay out the way and shit. Hell yeah. But like when they was here, it was like they was they was getting me involved and shit, so yeah, I, I had to say a few Hell things. Yeah. So. Shout out to them though. They like. Cause a lot of times you uh you know you interview podcasters and yeah. podcasters are good at podcasting not, their own show but exactly not being guests so them two niggas though right there yeah shout out to the twins man sure. the, the one that made me just kind of like like damn I, I need to like make something happen because it seems like this nigga life is like pretty pretty dope dog mm-hmm. you know, it was roast spit yeah no for sure first off he known. Dog, first off, shout out to you yeah. for getting roast spit in the basement. No, for nigga. sure, dog. For sure. Like, just think about that shit. Yeah, this like, nigga, having roast spit in the basement is a I'm, big fucking deal. Yeah, nigga. for sure. Yeah, and, for yeah sure. and then just him, nigga. We, we that was a a, a long conversation, dog. I'm looking yeah. at it. Nigga, it was an hour and forty eight minute um interview. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like with them people, I don't want to hold them up, but it's like so much stuff it's you so can much ask. You want to talk about? Cause yeah. he ain't converted from the music to the business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? DJ and like it's so much stuff you can ask, and nigga when he when he told us about the whole little Jordan collab he had, he told us you know off camera and shit. Yeah. And for it to happen, for niggas to show love and him going back to schools and and passing out shoes, yeah. it was dope. And dog. I think when he told us, he didn't even tell us they was Jays though. He he said it was Did Jordan. He, say it was yeah. okay. he said he he had said off camera because he camera, at the time right, right. it didn't happen yet. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, but and then it's like seeing like him on social media with doing his thing, like damn, like. Yeah. I can't wait till I'm able to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of I mean, do some shit and be out there. And also, like, dog, I've been at that shit for a while. Like, I remember when I went to uh, some, I think it was a Google Expo and shit. It was downtown. That's how I ended up setting up all my business shit because, like, they had, they did a, a, a two day free weekend, dog, to where mm-hmm. they taught you how to set up all your shit on Google for free. That's how yeah. I got the business email address and all that shit without paying for it. For sure. And I remember when I got there, they were showing these, uh, you know, they were showing these reels. I guess they wouldn't call them reels then, but yeah. they were showing these short videos. And one of them was uh, was roast spitting shit. This is yeah. when Burn Rubber first came out. Okay, I I had heard a uh, roll from 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 rapping and shit because I knew a, you know, I, I knew a couple of niggas in hip hop and shit. Mm-hmm. But like, I didn't know the nigga like owned the business like that. So I seen then like, dog, he been on this business yeah. shit. For like 20 years, nigga. Hell you been yeah. on this shit for a minute. Like, no, he, ain't, sure. he ain't new to this. Hell yeah. yeah. That nigga been doing his thing for for yeah, quite some time. But yeah, no, for sure. it was dope to have him on and just pick his brain. And you know what I'm saying? He, he yeah. probably like, damn, this motherfucking interview getting long. But yeah. <laughs> it was cool, though. Alice Thomas was cool, too, though. No, no. I was going yeah. to yeah. Dog, that nigga was cool and down to earth. And he was like, it was a little sketchy when he came over here. Because he like, nigga, y'all doing it from the crib. <laughs> <laughs> but once right. he came down here, nigga, it was a good ass combo, bro. Yeah, like first time I actually talked like in person to a real live California nigga too. Like they accent crazy. Yeah, nigga. Dog, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, and I'm in that bitch like you know because I thought I watched the what's that movie and say Columbus bitch. Oh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, buffed up. Buffed up, nigga. God I'm like, damn. nigga, that same day I'm watching buffed up for the first time. Yes, I watched that shit late in life. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm about to DM this nigga, dog. So I like, nigga, you down with coming on the show? Nigga, like, yeah. I'm like, all right, bet, nigga, yeah. hell yeah. And he been on twice, nigga. He came on in, then he came on right before he had the uh, season three, uh, season two of McGrath. And hey, man, shout out to you know, Thomas L. Harris, man. Shout out to and dog. Film. Dog Moolah films, them niggas doing, them niggas doing. I I want to see fucking line more, man. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I, no, I need sure. to see that fucking. Sure. Movie, we had bro. Chris on the show and shit. Dog, hold on. Let me say that about Chris, bro. Yeah. Let me say this right now, nigga. Yeah, go ahead. That sure. nigga is elevating as an actor. No, bro. for sure. I'm for talking sure. about. I keep seeing this nigga in movies, and yeah. every time I see this nigga, like literally, he getting better, dog. So I want to say, first off, I want to say shout out to Dog, shout out to this nigga Chris for like really working on his craft like and getting yeah. better as a yeah. as an actor but also i think that's a shout out to moolah as a whole because yeah. them niggas really them niggas really over there creating yeah. actors Hell nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. they not just putting out films like they turning niggas into real no, actors that nigga from the east side too nigga shout dog. out to you nigga man shout hey out that, that was a funny story that nigga said he did that little uh that one shit dog when he was doing that little uh walkway with the, he was talking about he was in his drawers <laughs> <laughs> Some of the girls that oiled them up and right. shit. Hey, that couldn't have been me, nigga. Them girls oiled me up, nigga. I had hard dick, nigga. Like, Yo, what? <laughs> walking down I that bitch. I forgot all about that yeah, shit. Yo, that nigga was funny as hell. Yeah, shout out to nigga Chris, and man. This, this one dude uh, I'm about to show love is uh, G Mac Cash. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We supposed to have got an interview prior to him coming on, but things didn't work out for whatever reason. I don't know. But when he did come back around, it was better because I think I was more prepared for him. He was more prepared, for sure. But and he might not say this, mm -hmm. but nigga, and I'm not trying to brag on myself, but, but I gave him the best interview. <laughs> you because go. my thing is, and I'm not, you know, of course I'm always gonna say that, but you go, I, you go always say yeah, that. <laughs> but I, I had asked him things, and he even admitted to it on the on the show that nobody didn't even know about. Yeah. Like people just when they think about G Mac Cares, they the first thing you think about is Popeyes got roaches. Yeah. And I could lay with that, like yeah, nigga, when you did that song, nigga, but instead. Nigga, I'm like, all right, bet. He been on every motherfucking show in the city or whatever. Mm -hmm. What can I do different or as different that's going to surprise him? Yeah. Or whatever. And when I found out he was in a group, mm -hmm. and I actually listened to some songs and stuff like that, and you bring the group up, and then I'm knowing. Yeah, because nobody talking yeah, about the group. I'm knowing the song. He like, nigga, what? And he, yeah. he said, nobody never asked me about the group. Like, yeah, nobody. I don't think nobody know about the group. Yeah, because, I, I mean, it make it so uh, a, pod, a, a podcast dude. Is lazy because like you just talking about what's in your face right instead of going back in, and if that's only if you can find things and then talk about that they're gonna enjoy the interview and they're gonna be surprised and they're gonna be like damn nigga you really you really doing your yeah shit. you didn't waste yeah. my time nigga facts because i'm quite sure that nigga could have been making a song nigga do anything yeah nigga. i mean no this nigga was on the tonight show mm -hmm. <laughs> this nigga be doing anywhere any any time for any sure. place nigga. for sure shout out to him and i'm gonna do something i'm, I'm about to call some people out man Oh shit, nigga! What time? Is Not it? in a bad way. Oh, okay. Not in a bad <laughs> I'm way. like, what time is it? We got time for this shit. This is I'm calling people out who, y'all dope and I need music. Oh shit! <laughs> y'all, I need some music. Lee Envy, I need some music. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with you and stuff like that. You doing your thing on those Tubi movies too? You doing your thing? You know what I'm saying? My, for sure. I'm producing like what he be seeing sometimes. <laughs> all, all the time. You know what, what I'm saying? Fuck you talking about all yeah. the time, nigga. Shout we, to Lee Envy. We need some uh, we need some new music from you ASAP, man. ASAP, ASAP. Um, the next person, I, I think, of course. He, oh, we, we ain't gonna get that. Shit. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna even say nothing about that nigga. Dog. Right. <laughs> Fuck you. No, we need some music from Crispy up. Dev, dog. KD, Facts. nigga. That Facts. nigga, I, I, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I need some. I need a new project to come out, dog. Cause like, I agree. I gotta go back and listen to his uh his old shit, dog. I'm gonna post that shit, dog. Cause he yeah. had uh, one song that just had me think about my motherfucking childhood like a mud, dog. Yeah. Crispy, crispy Dev, we need some uh, some new music, like nigga, right now. Come home, skinny black. <laughs> uh, this one person is making me mad, dog, because this nigga dope, dog, and he was on here. He came with his partner at the time. They did a song together, "Son of Rose." Oh shit, dog, right, dog, right. That nigga. Yeah, no, I feel, you. I, I feel you on that shit. I feel you. Son of Rose, nigga, dog, you, you, you cold, nigga. Yeah, I was gonna say hard, but that's a pause, I guess. <laughs> but nigga, you nice, bro, like. I'm a, I'm a, I gotta go back and listen to all these projects because I really like listening to y'all niggas' music. Yeah, so for sure. I wouldn't be saying this shit if I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, interested in what y'all got to say now. Yeah. Now, my ladies, Leah Bands, she finally mm -hmm. put out a, a, a song, dog. Gotcha. Her ass been going to Costa Rica, Africa, nigga, like. <laughs> she 
you've been living life like a motherfucker. So I'm not mad that you ain't putting out music because whatever you doing, nigga. <laughs> no, I so say you living life out this motherfucker yeah. like you doing your thing. But can we get a can we get some songs? Man, whatever you doing, nigga. You <laughs> hey, nigga. Right. Hey, you you you, you do your thing, nigga. Shit. I guess. And last but not motherfucking least, dog. Well, no, I got two last but not least. Uh-huh. This is fam, dog. Mojo motherfucking D. Dog. <laughs> Dog, come on, home, skinny. Come on, come on man. Come on, come on, skinny black. We miss we, you, man. We miss you, man. No, you ain't bullshit, Bojo. Put some fucking music out. Quit playing, we dog. need a project, dog. Yes, I know. And, we fuck with you, everything. Quit playing. And for all y'all, if y'all don't want to drop a project, just want to drop singles. I, I I say this: you want to just just drop more singles. Drop a single every month. If you got access, if that's if you got access to the studio, as if life ain't, you know, what I'm saying life could be mm-hmm. taking a turn. You don't want to focus. They music. be trying to let that shit breathe, so I yeah. get it. Yeah, but I want. I just want more music. I, and the last person, and this nigga, I, I think he could have a, he could have a deal. Hmm. Uh, nappy, uh, Nappy Devi. Yeah. And okay, we say, what you. we say, Nappy Devay. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. No, nah, for sure. Bro, I think he should be way more recognized recognized in the city dog yeah i know he went through some shit um i, I think he had lost somebody close to him a family member i don't want to i i think it was okay. somebody but i don't want to say it, you know what I'm saying be and be wrong, and and, be wrong. Yeah, yeah for sure but for I, sure. i'm quite sure i think it was somebody that was real close to him and shit like that okay. but yeah you gotta drop some um you gotta drop some music nappy you know what i'm saying <laughs> not 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 now but right now dog. right right you know right. what i'm saying so yeah, so I just wanted to Yeah, fuck I forgot about Santa Rose though for sure. Yeah, we yeah, we could use yeah. some new, new new music for no, sure. No, we could yeah. we could definitely use some new music, dog. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, but it's it's so many interviews that that um, you know what I'm saying, that's been done. So many mm-hmm. motherfuckers have been on here. That this nigga is it's, it's hard to call out everybody, but those are the nah, few sure. that I'm gonna call out. And the person that's gonna get a deal is Kayla Wan, nigga. She's gonna get a deal. Yeah, you <laughs> say like Kayla Wan gonna get a deal. She gonna, be, sure. she gonna be out here, nigga, on her days low shit, nigga. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She gonna get a deal, nigga. Yeah. I just know it, nigga. She got the, she got, she, she got the, a nice package, dog, yeah. as far as like what she can <laughs> offer. Shit. I ain't trying to be no yeah, creep, nigga, but. Yeah, she do got a nice package, up. <laughs> but, dog, uh, she definitely should, uh, should blow up, dog, for real. She dog, gonna, dog say she got a nice package, cuz. <laughs> nice package. No, you stupid as hell, dog. But no, <laughs> she definitely, um, she definitely, uh, I think she gonna be a one get deal. She we gonna, one, yeah. we gonna look back like, damn, she, she got my fucking deal. And she was on the show for sure. No, that's and, what's up, though. And of course, we got always. I'm, a, I'm, a, if I'm gonna talk about Lay, I got shout Detroit Diamond, man. I know you out there, you out there grinding and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, she out here making noise though. Yeah, hell yeah, but keep doing the thing. And, right, um, just to be able to lead this motherfucking then, like yeah. get that shit popping on a whole nother coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's dope. You gotta make it happen, bro. It's hard going to uh, California, nigga. Yeah, she got yeah. niggas in Cali talk about Detroit Diamond in this bitch. I'm just saying. Yeah. That's she how got, she started bitches up. She tried to get what's name and say some shit like that. Nigga, like hell no, I ain't doing it. <laughs> Drewski or some shit. Drewski, like, yeah. I ain't doing that shit. And the one she interview, got the niggas out there saying that shit. The one interview that I let, I let my man just talk. That nigga mm-hmm. gave us a story, bro. It was Pistol Atkins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Pistol Atkins. That nigga yeah, gave us sure. a story, nigga. Sure. Like that's and, like that's that's hip hop history right there. Yeah, hell sure. yeah, dog. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah dog. But yeah, Talk man, about teach you niggas the game and shit. Yeah, it's like y'all podcasts out here, y'all man, y'all might be getting more views than me. Ah oh, shit, here you go. But y'all want ain't your, me. Want, want your soapbox? Like, no, but uh, want your and, soapbox. And and speaking of moolah, it's two. It's one person I want. I want to get on the show, man. I had some of his people on here. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, Cino. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Cino though. Yeah. When you talk about sure. acting, nigga, he out there doing this thing, nigga. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Shout out to Cino. Uh, him and uh, DJ BJ was on the. Uh, oh yeah, podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. He did some work with them and shit, dog. Yeah, for sure, Cino. We need you, dog. Come on back yeah. home, bro. Yeah. We, need <laughs> we need you, skinny. Come on to the east right. side, dog. Come on to the east side, dog. Come on, big five. We got you, dog. Hey, yeah. about- Nigga, I never knew for this, you know what I'm saying, all this time that Main Harris was his brother. Yeah. No, no, I didn't know that until yeah. recently. Yeah, and we sure. need Main Harris on this bitch because I want to talk to you, dog, because you, sh- nigga, you should have been in the league, nigga, a lot longer, nigga. I want to know, like, nigga, what your thoughts about that shit because he yeah. should have, that nigga was a killer, dog. Yeah. And certain niggas that hoop. But certain niggas that's killers, dog. <laughs> right. And Manny Harris, nigga, was a fucking killer, nigga. Like, <laughs> that nigga's a killer, killer. That nigga was a killer at Redford. Yeah. That nigga was a killer at Michigan. And yeah. he should have been fucking like, I don't know what the fuck, bro, but he should have definitely had, 
I hate that shit though. I don't know if it's politics or what it is when it comes to the league. I know it's a hard, it's hard because everybody yeah. that bitch can hoop. Right, for sure. But I remember that nigga playing for Cleveland at one point and playing for the Lakers. Mm. He played for Lakers, I think, like when Kobe was on the downside or whatever. Okay. But I think that nigga had came in the game and if I'm not mistaken, he had scored like a thirty piece, nigga, Damn, like sure. easy. Yeah. Easy, mm. dog. But yeah, that nigga definitely like I wanna I want uh <laughs> Matt Harris on his bitch, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Matt Harris and shit. For sure. But yeah, man, I ain't really got shit else to talk about, man. Yeah. It's one thirty. I want to get home before the traffic hit. <laughs> My uh, grandmother-in-law about the barbecue and shit, though. I'm about to have some sausages, nigga. Hot dogs, nigga. Pause. <laughs> Fuck that. All the meats. Hell yeah, nigga. All, all the, the meats, grill. nigga. For real, nigga. We need meats, nigga. nigga. <laughs> this nigga, uh, speak of this producer of mine, nigga. The only thing this nigga doing when he barbecues is make all meats, nigga. That's it, nigga. Like, what's, what's your side, nigga? Bread. Bread. <laughs> Chips, nigga. Hell yeah, nigga. Shit, liquor. Liquor. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Anything you want to say, nigga, before we get off this mug? No, nah, shit. Uh, that's it, man. Shout out to everybody who go be out at the uh, at the networking event on the sixteenth. No, no, the fifteenth. Let me go the ahead 15th? and put the real thing out there, nigga. Yeah, put the real thing out there, dog. <laughs> before I be out here saying the wrong Hell shit. Yeah, like nigga on sixteenth, nigga. It's a Monday. <laughs> yeah, the fifteenth. But no, shout out to the Urban Podcast Summit. Uh, it's twenty twenty three. It's gonna be uh, September fifteenth, twenty twenty three, yep. at Heavy House Studios. That is a two nine one zero eight five mile road in Lavonia, Michigan. Four to seven. Uh, the panel starts at five thirty. Twenty dollars online. Twenty five dollars at the door. It's gonna be appearances by uh, yours truly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Q and true. shit, nigga. Q and producer Q gonna be on that motherfucker. The Connected Experience Shop Talk Podcast. Uh, Miles Dixon and po podcast it. He gonna be there. Um, the Urban uh, the U Uprising Network. Um, and. Oh, yeah, a lot, right, <laughs> a lot of other people. Right, a lot of people. I'm trying to uh, think of somebody. Who, oh, Breaking the Machine. I mean, both of them niggas was on yeah, the show. Breaking the Machine. So yeah. they gonna be there. So it's a mod and motherfucking um, spank the bank for sure. So yeah, y'all come fuck with us uh, and get ticket and shit. I don't know what we gonna be talking about, but I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sunday the 15th, dog. Pull up on the game. Really? Uh, that's really about it, dog. Make sure you check out all of my shit, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Every Monday morning on eblockradio.com. Every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. for the Beers Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. That's that everybody loves BBW. Of course, uh, Shy versus everybody Tuesday nights also at 8 p.m. though. That's on eblockradio.com, dog. Best motherfucking podcast network in the Duh. country. Hopefully, we win the motherfucking award tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we've been uh, nominated for, uh, you know, best uh, podcast network. Uh, so, by the time this drop, we'll know if we won or not and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we'll know and shit after Duh. that. This nigga said, I wish he touched my dick. <laughs> No, I did say that though. Fuck yeah. it, nigga. I want to yeah, clip that bitch, dog. I'm going to put that shit on. Yeah, that that shit, I'm going to clip that motherfucking too. Shit, we both clipping that Can't shit. Can't put that bitch on TikTok. They ain't take that shit right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. I'm, said, I'm scared of TikTok, man. Hell yeah, damn. I wish you would have touched my dick. Right. I wouldn't have said a word. <laughs> I wouldn't have, dog. Dog, this nigga is funny. That shit, dog. That's the funniest thing ever in life, dog. Man. But no, oh, dog. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is a quick episode, real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to do something. Came over this way. You had to record, nigga. Fuck that shit. Can't let y'all niggas get the up on me. Y'all ain't about to. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't ever about to catch up, nigga. That's what the <laughs> fuck I'm talking about. But anyway, man. Shout out to everybody. No episode, man. Best podcast in the city. Ain't no competition. If it is, I don't motherfucking see it, man. Fuck y'all.